What did I bring home today? Another one of these pieces of scrap. I think this is the fourth or fifth one that I brought home. These hydrostatic marais. Uh, this one is a little bit different. And I did get a lot of parts with it too. I got another carburetor off another motor that's over there sitting. I got a top cover for a Toro. I know exactly what that's off of, so I need some bolts off it, so I'm glad I got that. A stator for one, a dipstick, and another pulley. This 12 and a half engine right here, and a snowblower engine. But this one was giving me trouble, so I just decided to take the whole thing home, not be in a rush, take it apart at my own pace, so. I already got my tools over here. Let's take it apart. I can tell this motor's been leaking oil for a while. You can see that crack right there. But I mean, it's been leaking for a while. Look how much sludge is down here. Just all grass sticking to it. But I got this bolt out off there. I got the bolt out of the pulley. And now I just gotta get a power bar on that pulley, which maybe it's stuck, but hit with the hammers a couple times, see what happens. I don't know what's going on here with the pulley, but I don't think I'm gonna be buying this part of the tractor. That can stay on the back because the rest of this frame is going to go back because if i buy it it's just going to go back there anyway so i lose money on it i'm gonna take it back and i'll have to pay for it i'm at a stopping point now because i left my impact at the scrapyard so That snake skin right there. Bolts are out. Let's get it on the ground. I always try to put my bolts back in my engines before I start putting them somewhere. Because I hate looking for bolts. Let's put them back in. Then you don't got to be searching for them. I always used to lose these crank bolts all the time. Never had any. So we just leave them in the motors and don't have to look for them. Another... What was that? Oh, another reason to keep junk around. Rotors. Put a motor on top. Good. 